To get started, power up your display. You will probably see something similar to this on the screen. Next, open a web browser to the IP address here listed on the display. That address is 192.168.82.245.8080. And this brings up the recovery app on the web browser. Next, we can upload the SWU file specific to the display we are using that we downloaded from the website in our previous video. And in this case, our file is version 1007. Once the file is dragged into the browser, this will begin the process of uploading the file to the display and updating the firmware. You'll also see these changes happening at the same time on the display itself. This process may take a few minutes to complete. The browser will display a prompt here when everything is finished. Now, we can go ahead and restart the display. You will see a change on the display and after a few seconds, the display will reboot. And at this point, it will power up with the IFM logo and then go into the setup screen. Once there, the final step is to close out of the setup menu by pressing the button below the power icon. Highlight OK and confirm by pressing the middle button on the display. You should now see a blank screen. You can now scan with Codasys to connect to the device. Finally, we're all finished with loading the firmware on the display. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.